Trinity, as I mentioned, is a, a home and gave refuge to many famous scholars. Perhaps the greatest of them all is Sir Isaac Newton, who um, developed the theory of gravity and many other famous laws. Newton's room was originally just here, although this isn't the exact structure. And in the famous story where he is trying to work out the theory of gravity and he lies down underneath an apple tree and an apple drops down and it suddenly clicks that this is how gravity works. Well, this is not the exact apple tree, but it is supposed to be a descendant of that apple tree which has been grafted on and grafted on and planted here. Now, Newton's story is very typical of British academic life. He was from quite a poor family in Lincolnshire, I believe, and there was nothing special about the family, but he was extraordinarily gifted as a mathematician and came to Cambridge quite early. He then, because of the uh, university system, what it did was it allowed Newton to think solidly on nothing but how the universe works for 20 years. Now, he was asked how he solved the riddle of the universe and he said by thinking on it all the time. Now, there are very few institutions in the world which allow you the leisure, the food and the peacefulness to think about the problems of the universe for 20 years without doing any work. And he shut himself in his room and he thought and he thought and he thought and he worked out the, the principles of physics and optics. And it was because of the Oxbridge system and that's what it's always provided. It's provided for uh, English and other academics a quiet, peaceful haven where without immediate pressure to produce too much, you can take on really big problems and work out solutions over a long period. This of course is now under pressure where everyone is expected to produce results immediately. So Blue Sky's research is under pressure but because Oxford and Cambridge are still rich and attract very good people and are protected, they can still engage in really deep research.